Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 23. Let's understand vector cross product now. To understand vector cross product, let's take this log which has a nail here. And now let's apply some force in this direction. Correct, we have a nail and we are applying some force in the direction, what happens is this thing topples. So if you see, this is my R vector actually if you see, this is my R vector and the torque produced is force cross product R vector, right. So if my, this is my force and this is the R vector, so if you see, this is my r vector, I just move it parallel. This is the angle between force and r vector. Let this angle be theta. If this angle is theta, if I now decompose this force, I'll have two components of force in this direction and this direction. This guy is theta, so this force will be f cos theta and this will be f sin theta, correct? Since this is theta, this is f, this will be f cos theta and this will be f sin theta, correct? Now if you see, this is my log like this, this is my r vector actually and I apply a force of f sin theta in this direction. And I also apply a force of f cos theta in this direction, correct? Now you see since this force f cos theta and this r vector are in same direction that this component won't produce any torque. The only component that will produce torque is this guy, correct? See in this direction. For example, you take this log, you have this log, you apply a force in this direction, nothing will happen, it won't even move. But if you apply a force in this direction exactly, you see the log will move, correct? It will rotate actually. That means the force which is applied in this direction has no impact in the torque, but force which is applied in this direction has an impact. Now if you see the torque which comes out to be is F R sin theta. This is the magnitude of this force, right? This is the magnitude of this force. And what is the direction? The direction if you see since it is rotating in this direction, the direction of the torque is this way, correct? Because this since it is rotating in this direction, the direction of the torque is this way. So it, if it is in this way, it is difficult to donate, uh, denote direction in this way. So in terms of this, what we do, we say that this is nothing but something which is coming out. Why? You apply the right hand rule, you, you have this uh, fingers, four fingers, you ro rotate towards your uh, uh, this direction because the log is moving in this direction, the torque, torque is in this direction, you see your fingers in this direction, correct? See this is your hand, and suppose this is your hand and this is your thumb actually and these are your fingers, right? You rotate your finger in this direction, you will see your thumb in this direction. The thumb is the direction of the torque that we use in world of physics and that's we can see here is in this case, if you see the direction of the force is this, direction of the R vector is this and the direction of torque which we got is coming out, that's coming out of the screen. Thus we can see that the direction of torque is perpendicular to direction of force and R vector. So two things to observe, first thing is the, the output of cross product. is vector, y vector because it has direction 
second thing direction is perpendicular to both inputs so i have two inputs f and r the direction of output is direction of output it is torque is perpendicular to both the inputs that's the basic fundamental of cross product so if you had this law you applied some force and you found that the torque came out to be f dot magnitude of f into magnitude of r into sin theta and the direction was something which is perpendicular to both f and r and please note in the vector product we use right hand rectangular coordinate system as discussed so if you have if you want to find the vector product of a and b if a is in this direction b is in this direction a cross b will be in this direction so you move from a to b you, you fold your fingers from a to b right and then your thumb will give you direction of a cross b in our case also so we had this uh, force we had this r vector we you you move from a f, f to r this direction gives the direction of the torque this f cross r please note this is very very critical the direction of torque the direction of the vector product so if i have two vector a and b the magnitude will be a b sin theta where theta is angle between a and b correct and the direction is that is perpendicular to both a and b and to get direction we use the right hand rectangular coordinate system this this way you move from a to b your thumb gives the direction of a cross b so in this case also if you see you move from x y you get z so let's do some recap of the vector product so it says that we have two non zero vectors a and b they are two vectors and the cross product is denoted by a cross b where a cross b is nothing but a magnitude of a into magnitude of b into sin theta and direction is n vector where n vector is nothing but n unit vector is nothing but vector that is perpendicular to both a and b and how you get this you get from right hand rule here also you move your hand from uh, fingers from a to b you will find that your thumb will point to this guy you try this you take your hand your right hand please note you take a right hand only right hand take your right hand let me draw like this you see if i can draw properly so let's suppose this is your right hand you move your palm from a to b like this and you see that this guy is the direction of a cross b this n vector so you have to vector a and b the cross product is a cross b and the value is a b sin theta into n vector n vector is nothing but a unit vector which is perpendicular to both a and b and to get direction of this actually you use the right hand thumb rule some observation on vector cross product first thing is a cross b is a vector second thing is if a and b are two non zero vectors and a cross b is zero that is possible if and only if they are parallel because i say a cross b is a b sin theta since a and b are non zero vectors this is not zero this is not zero so sin theta has to be zero if sin theta has to be zero theta is zero or pi so theta is zero or pi that means the vectors are parallel correct also in case theta is pi by 2 then a cross b is magnitude of a into magnitude of b so because sin theta is pi by 2 sin uh, sin theta is pi by 2 so sin pi by 2 is 1 so this will become a into b again it will have some direction also so a cross b will be this into some direction because this guy is a scalar right but we am saying that a cross b is a vector so you multiply the scalar with this vector and n uh, n cap it is having some direction and also know that if you say i into i or j into j or k cross k you get zero please note in case of scalar product when you say i dot i j dot j or k dot k we used to get one but in this case when you say i cross i j cross j k cross k you get zero 
But if you say i cross j, you get k, j cross k i, k cross i j. It, is, it follows the circle actually. So you write i j k in this fashion. You say i cross j, you get k, k cross i, you get j, j cross k, you get i. Reverse way is negative. If you say j cross i, you get minus k. I'll show you that. If you say j cross i, you get minus k vector. Sorry, j cross i, yeah, minus k vector. Why? Because you are moving from j to i, right? You get minus. You can use the right hand thumb rule also. So if I have my, this is x axis, so it is i, this is y, so it is j and this guy will be k. When I am saying j cross i, I am moving my palm from this direction to this direction, right? So if I have my palm like this, if you see, this is my thumb, two, three, four fingers, right, like this. Sorry, the drawing is not clear, but if you see in this direction, if you put your hand and you move from I to J, right, I to J in this fashion, your thumb will point in this direction, minus K direction. This guy is K direction and this guy is minus K direction. So from I cross J, if you say, you get minus K. Please note, but when you say, uh, when you say J cross I, you get minus K. But when you say I cross J, you get K vector. Why? Because if you are moving from I cross to J, you will use, uh, you'll, your hand will be something like this, I'll show you. This will be your thumb, this will be your four fingers and something like this. Now in this case, you are moving from I to J, right? So you are moving from I to J in this direction, correct? I to J in this direction. And thus you see that your thumb is in K direction. But you are moving from J to I, you have to flip your hand like this and then you have to move from J to I and then you see that your thumb is falling in minus K direction. Correct? Also, if you have to find the angle between A and B, then you can find the way we have done cost uh, in, in scalar product. Here also we can do the same thing. Sine theta will be A cross B by magnitude of A, magnitude of B. Correct? And here you have to take magnitude because we are not talking about vector now, we are talking about angle. So we will make this as scalar, this guy as scalar and divide to get angle theta. It is true that vector product is not commutative. Please note, in case of scalar, we used to say a dot b is equal to b dot a, right? Because anyway, they were scalar. But in this case, a cross b will not be equal to b cross a. a cross b will be equal to minus of b cross a. Here also, if you see, I, j dot i was minus k and i dot j was k. So, you have two vectors, a cross b and b cross a. The magnitude will be same definitely, but direction will differ. In case of a cross b, if it is, let's suppose, n direction, then in case of b cross a, it will be minus n direction because of the right hand. So, please note, please note this, that in case of vector product, it is not commutative. It is not commutative. A cross B is not equal to B cross A. Instead, A cross B is equal to minus B cross A because the magnitude of A cross B and B cross A is same because both are A, B sine theta, correct? But the direction is different. In fact, it is just opposite direction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.